Hey everyone, welcome to the Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one is on episode 7 of Sakurako-san and this one, it was kind of a slow episode, I gotta say. Um, it did, it was pretty much the first part was like all about the festival and stuff. We get some, you know, um, Yuriko in a cute ghost kind of outfit. We get to see um, Shotaro in like a you know, butler outfit and all this kind of stuff. But then it goes more into, like, away from the festival. The festival is just, like, a little thing on the side. And pretty much what's going on is Isozaki Sensei is there. And they are pretty much getting all the bones of the previous teacher there. He had, like, a whole bunch. So they were going to sort it all and all this kind of stuff. And as they're sorting through it all, like, they found human remains. And... That may not be anything towards the main part of the story. The main part of the story happened when Shotaro acting like I can I can see why he reacted like that. I can see how you know her her first pet her not first pet her cat she pretty much dissected it and made it into a specimen and that's why she has it there. But and then he gets all crying and mad like how can you do that? It's your pet. Don't you remember touching its paws, petting it on the head? And it's like dude. She also, you know, we already know Sakurako is totally different. She's not the same as other people. And maybe in her, th her way, that is her keeping the cat close to her. Or it could also me be kind of a symbolism or something towards maybe her brother as well. I don't know. It's really interesting. Like, the fact that it was a slow episode, not a lot of things, but little hints of stuff in this episode were thrown out. For example, the cat kind of thing. Um, Shotaro and his relationship with Sakurako, you know, him feeling like he thought there was a connection, but they're way too different kind of from what he just saw now kind of thing. So it's more on that. And of course, Isozaki continuously saying, oh, you know, talking about, oh, you like her and all this kind of stuff. It doesn't matter. And then we also get on the part of the fiance. I, I don't know. I honestly don't think there's a fiance. It's kind of weird if knowing how she is how she has like a you know teenage guardian he's kind of her guardian and everything you know Shotaro and the grand won't let her she's the kind of person that like she won't let her leave without finishing her plate she likes to sneak in you know sweets like the cake part that was pretty cute and funny but it's like someone like her it she's kind of like a kid in a way that the fiance wouldn't just be not be there he'd be taking care of her and stuff like that being with her so it's really hard to think that she has a normal fiance, that there is actually a fiance. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see for that part. But yeah, so the underlying things in this episode was the fiance part in my terms. I'm thinking that's going to play a role somewhere along the way. The connection, you know, the feelings between Shotaro and Sakurako. Obviously, he feels differently and he feels that there was a connection, but he doesn't. He thinks there's they're just too different, and then of course the whole cat thing, and at the very end she's talking to I don't know who it was, but someone in the hospital and something to do with this unsolved case that was what she got the book. I'm pretty sure it's not about the cat. It might be about her brother. I don't know. It's really interesting. It's like it's probably connecting with her brother, and that's why Shotaro reminds her of her brother and everything, and how she was like, oh, it was raining that day too. Sure, it showed her with like a cat, but that could just mean something else. I don't know. It's a lot of th different things. It the episode was definitely slow. I'm not gonna deny that at all. It was a slow episode, <clears throat> but it really had like little itty bitty things that were building up into what's the possibility of the next episode. I do feel like they didn't need some of the stuff in this episode. It was a little too slow in my in my opinion but it was still I still liked it it was still a pretty interesting episode learning about all the animals learning about you know certain things and how Sakurako feels and how Shotaro feels differently and how he's kind of he doesn't really know what to do at the moment and now he's like in the rain and she's thinking of this unsolved case kind of thing I don't know it's pretty like, interesting a lot of it was definitely an ominous suspenseful atmosphere in this episode and honestly I still like it and can't wait to see what all of this means and what all of it will be in this next coming episode so yeah that's all I really gotta say guys hope you guys enjoyed this anime kingdom discussion review if you have any questions feel free to comment below if there's anything I missed and you want to talk about because there was a lot of different things in this episode and 
I'm not too sure I really saw all of it. And if there was something I missed, please tell me. I would love to know. And we can talk about it and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.